Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products, and on today's video, we're going to take some of these big long cedar logs behind us and cut them into some really nice, true dimension, large cedar beams. So I think we're looking at this long one here first. I need two beams that are true 9x9 nine nine and 22 feet long, and I need three that are 7x7x14. Seven by seven by so on a log like this, to make sure I can get my 9x9 nine nine beam out of there, i got to do a little math. So we're going to measure starting at a foot. Across the log is about 13 inches. So now, using Pythagorean Theorem, 9 inches across squared is 81. 9 inches up squared is 81. 81 plus 81 is 162. 13 squared is 169, so we should be able to get a 9 by 9 square beam out of this whole log using this as the small end. Shouldn't be a big deal. All right, we're getting this guy up there. We're going to cut some 7 by 7 true dimension cedar beams out of it. Well, we got those two logs there for our 22-foot beams. 
we're gonna try and yank him out of this pile. I don't know if this backhoe has enough oomph to do it, but Fred says it does, so we're gonna see what happens here. They're wedged in there pretty good. Oh, well, there we go. There's some progress. I'll say I custom cut. Some of the stuff that's standard, I'll, I'll have in stock, like two by sixes, and a bunch of one by is a good seller. But like these are custom beams for a guy for his, I don't know, what he's doing, a porch or something. But he wants a 22 foot long nine by nine. Yeah, it's a big, he wants two of them. So, Fred's not too happy. That face on him is not his happy face right now. No? He has like long stuff? Uh-uh. Supposedly you can go up to 24. I think the longest I've ever cut is like 18 or maybe 20. So this is gonna be a long one. That one's a 25 foot log, so we're gonna have to buck it down. And for a lot of stuff with cedar, it's outside anyway, like pergolas and decks and porches, so green is fine. All right, we got it. Now where are we going with it? Is he gonna go out on the road with it? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Here he goes. That's a wide load there. Well, we're out in the back 40 of Fred's place, and he's got all these maple slabs that he cut up, I don't know, a long time ago. I don't know, years maybe. There's a guy here, he's looking to buy one today for a table. So Fred's gonna dig them out. We'll see what they look like. So it sounds like this project is for a fairly small piece of wood, 36 roughly by 60 yeah. or so. Yeah. And so Fred got the, <laughs> he brought us out to the big pile. Yeah. <laughs> but look at, the, look at those slabs. I mean, those must be six feet across on those. How do they look here? Oh, they look good, huh? Yeah, nice. What's that called? Spalting? Is that yeah. called spalting? Yeah, the black fading. It's kind of a fungus, I think. Big piece of wood. Just a little concerned about this part. Can we look at the one below it? One more? Looks like they're put this way. This is the wide end on this next one. Oh, well, he's just got a stack of these things. Bam, 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 bam. The right person there's probably twenty thousand dollars worth of maple here. Well here's the winner. This is the one he's gonna go with. You need a bucket of water to put on. Yeah, put water on there like they do on the other channels. And then just start rubbing it around, just start, you gotta get in. <laughs> That'll be a nice piece though. How thick are they, three inches? Yeah. Fred, how long has this been cut? When did you cut this? Uh, a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago? A year and a half. Oh. Oh, well, we're getting our log over the sawmill. See how this goes. This will be the longest log I've ever cut. See how this goes. 
Ja. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. These big logs are so awkward. There's no way I'm going to get in there and try and push on it or help him. Alright, we got the mill up and out of the way. Now I think I'll just bump that other end up on there and we'll be all set. There we go. Turn that thing into a 9x9. Nine nine. Well, we got all the dirt off our log. Now we're putting a fresh blade on. And because we only need a nine by nine out of this, we're cutting some one by off it. And I pulled off two strips here. And part of the flitches were actually still good. I got an eight foot and a 10 foot, I don't know, somewhere in there, right there. Flitch that we can still get a couple more good boards out of. So we're just gonna whittle her down and get what we can off it until we get down to our nine by nine beam. And then we'll get the other long log up here and do the same thing. Whoa, we made it. 22 feet long, nine by nine. We got 10 pieces here that are roughly six or seven inches wide on average. There's more in there that's wider. But I figure I calculated the log with a 14 inch top, had about 190 board feet in it. In that pile, there's about 125 board feet. And that beam, there's about 150. 
So we scaled the log at 190, ended up getting about 275 board feet out of it. Fred's happy. Look how happy Fred is over there. <laughs> but here's where we got to be gentle with it. You don't want to bugger it up at the very end here. I might need to run and help him, but... There we go. Long stick. Well, here's our second log. See if we can get this one out of here. Without killing anybody. All right, we're gonna try pulling it from the end. See if we can make that happen. There we go. Of course, we wanted the one in the middle of the pile. There we go. Oh, we're gonna make it. There he goes. Got us a log. All right, there's our second nine by nine by 22 foot. And those long ones are kind of a pain. Kind of a pain, huh, Fred? I thought they were 23 foot. 23 foot, or 22 foot, 8 inches. 23. Splitting hairs here. There we go. We'll get it over in the pile and take a look at what we got. All right, we're finished up with this order. There's two 9 by 9 by 22 foot long and three 7 by 7 by 13 feet long. And I know you guys are watching this going, oh man, can this be worth it? It's a lot of work to cut those. There's $3,000 worth of wood here. That Western Red Cedar fetches a really nice price. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.